I need to align this well because it doesn't close properly at the bottom so the top it's okay but at the bottom it has a gap it could be the other way around so full close here and it could have a gap here uh, that's just uh, the same procedure so what I want to do here is we do have two sets of wells two assemblies one here one at the other end so because I notice this left side has an issue with the alignment I'm going to adjust the wells on this side if you notice it's on the other side the problem with closing depends maybe your door is closing on the other way you want to adjust the wells on the other side anyhow just let's see how this works and one of the things you want to pay attention is you want this hook here to properly engage into depends how it hooks up or down so just pay attention to this this also is another element uh, on how much you want to adjust it so on this model here it looks to be two two screws so this upper screw at least on this type of door this upper screw is actually keeping the well assembly in place so we do not touch this this is just when you want to remove the wells the screw that goes in there is kind of a Phillips head this is the adjustment screw when you turn it clockwise on this model at least is going to lift the door when you turn it counterclockwise is going to lower the door and the, at this end so what I need to do at this point I need to lift the well uh, the door so if I would lift it it's going to tilt like this I'm exaggerating so it's going to close the gap okay so if the gap it's at the top you want to lower uh, lower the door at this point instead counterclockwise but for now I'm going to lift it turn clockwise and because this is a very very heavy door it's going to seem uh, appear impossible to rotate that screw so let me just try to put lift the door a bit just to release the weight I'm using a socket just try to do this with two hands so at this point the weight is off the wells so I should be uh, it should be easy to uh, rotate it clockwise for me and lift the door so I'm going just to use an impact you can use any screwdriver I don't know how much I need to do this okay let's try this let's bring it down okay so it's on the socket Uh, do a check so I will just keep it uh, kind of slightly open all the way this at the top here is about I would say maybe one millimeter at the bottom it's still too much so I still need to uh, lift it some more but uh, already the gap is smaller so I get the point the gap it's already smaller so that rotation did help let's just try some more I'll just pause the video for now but so again this is the result at this point about two three millimeters at the bottom and the top looks flush now I did try to lift it there and it doesn't appear to align perfectly so what I'm going to try is to lower it at that uh, other end so basically I want to tilt it a little bit like this uh, you just basically just trial uh, and uh, just give it a try and see how it goes so at this point I'm lowering it I'm going to turn it counterclockwise it's a hand screwdriver this time and let's see how many turns maybe one full turn let's see what happens on the other side so move the door a, a little bit to kind of position sit sit the wells it did work halfway I would say so flush at the top still a little bit more let's just 
unscrew it maybe two turns this time two full turns I'm counting on my handle so because I unscrew it I don't need to lift the door it's just lowered it's easier to do and let's uh, give it a try so shake it a little bit back and forth to uh, okay I did it a little too much it's too much gap at the top and right now it's almost flush at the bottom so two turns a total of three turns was too much so let's just tighten it one turn it works harder because I need to lift it here let's just move it a bit to sit the wheels and at this point I think it's pretty much the same it's even just try to close it put it flush so it's flush here and it's almost almost flush here I don't want to do it perfect perfect but it closes easy this one it's easy to uh, also to lock it and uh, it, perhaps it kind of yeah it kind of sits a little bit perhaps it's too high overall but the alignment at this point it's almost perfect it's just fine for me if you feel like like i was saying at the beginning of the video that hook needs to enter there and sit if you feel like it knocks on the on the latch here or it kind of makes a jump up and down as you close and open it then maybe overall either the door it's overall too high or too low so you can just adjust it at both ends the same amount either lift it or lower it that's just basically the adjustments that you want to do but you got the idea about how to turn to lift to lower and how to play with the if you want overall tilt alignment and overall uh, height of the door uh, this is the latch of the door and I just realized that this latch also has a height adjustment You see there are grooves for the screws so you can actually move it up and down so it doesn't uh, So the door doesn't bump at the top or at the bottom it kind of At least this model kind of enters there and there you see mine has a, a scratch on the top which means the door was sitting on this part which is not correct alignment so you can also play with this thing make sure to tighten down the screws